Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera to all dear friends, participant and organizer of IBC Autumn 2022. Hi everyone, my name is Aisha and I am a senior lecturer of Mara University of Technology, UITM Melaka Branch, Malaysia. And today on behalf of my other fellow co-workers, I would like to share with all of you regarding to the paper of the conceptual framework for the implementation of the Malaysia Standard 1500-2019 Halal Food General Requirement. So let's start with some of the overview of the, this research paper. The researcher are proposed a framework for the implementations of the Malaysia Standard 1500-2019 regarding halal food general requirement. And the framework can be implemented among certified halal food small, medium and entrepreneur SME and will also serve as a guideline to policy maker in order to encourage all food manufacturer to continuously use this framework. And at the end of the day, we do hope that the conceptual framework proposed can be a basis to other researchers in the same discipline as to explore an issue of halal food and beverage. So let's look at, at the at history of halal food in Malaysia. It was started as early as 1970 and in 1971, Malaysia was one of the few countries that introduced the halal logo for food products. And in 1980, Malaysia legislation related to the halal issue was specified in Section 15A Trade Description Act 1972. This act comprised of two orders. Trade Description Order mean the usage of halal and Food Labeling 1971, which described that the food is legally fit from Sharia objective and safe to consume by Muslim consumer. Further, in 2004, one of a comprehensive guideline for Sharia standard in producing halal food has been introduced by Jakim, which is known as Malaysia Standard MS 1500-2004 that emphasize on four standards of uh, food production, which is preparation, handling, and also a storage general guideline. Moreover, in 2009, the standard have been reviewed for the second revision and was known as MS 1500-2009 and under this requirement, food manufacturer must recruit at least one Muslim halal executive to work at their food premises. Further, on the 3rd January 2019, the standard have been revised again as Malaysia Standard 1500-2019, which is it become a third revision of halal food general requirement. And nowadays, this Malaysian standard is currently used and should be abide by all food manufacturer in Malaysia. Let's move to the total quality management practices in halal food. By the way, what is TQM? TQM is a system of management based on the principle that state every members in organization should be committed in order to produce a high quality of productions. So they have a lots of principles that stress in TQM and why TQM is one of the elements that emphasized by the researcher because of TQM is one of the practice that should be followed by all food manufacturer in order to implement 
the Malaysia Standard 1500-2019. Due to the complexity of the agri-food supply chain and consumer desire for safety and quality of food products have increased as well, quality control and quality improvement was used at the beginning of the 23rd century. Quality control formed the basis of several quality insurance systems. Meanwhile, quality improvement involved basic principle of total quality management and ISO 9001 standard. The implementation of quality control and quality improvement method is to assure quality of food product by reduction of uncertainty and variability in the design and manufacturing process. Nowadays, the scenario of food safety incident have a great impact on consumer awareness towards safety and quality of food they consume. Thus, to convince consumers about the safety of products they consume, food manufacturers are required to be more transparent in sharing their food safety practices. One of the studies conducted by Holt and Hansen in 1999 revealed that total quality management, ISO 9001, and food safety are an instructive framework to form a quality insurance model of the fresh meat production. Now, let's look at, at the Sharia compliance or Sharia law in halal food products. When we talk about Sharia compliance of food production, it is about halalan toyiban. Halalan toyiban merely means allowed and permissible for consumption in relation to Sharia law as long as they are safe and not harmful. So as we know, opposite of halal is haram, which is forbidden for us to eat and in, it does not stop at the Islamic way of slaughtering of animal but it is more holistic concept where safe and hygiene guidelines must be adhered by manufacturers. This concept must be implemented starting from farm until it reaches to the table of consumer according to Bidin in 2013. Currently, the implementation of Sharia standards of halal food product by food manufacturer was related to production, packaging, storage, and transportation. This is according to Muhammad Janis in 2004. And in relation to the issue of non-Sharia compliant, Cik Din and Dao in 2014 urged halal food manufacturers to implement total quality management practices if they want to produce Sharia compliance of the halal food, halal food product. Furthermore, Abdul Talib Muhammad Ali and Idris in 2013 recommended that total quality management practice and Sharia knowledge in the halal production process should be implemented together if food manufacturer need to continuously produce a safe and Sharia compliance of the halal food product. So due to this recommendation, the researcher has suggested this conceptual framework to be implemented by all food manufacturers in Malaysia. They should consider with two elements in order to implement the Malaysia Standard 1500-2019, total quality management practices and also Sharia knowledge in a food processing should be implemented together in order to the requirement of implementation Malaysia Standard 1500-2019. So figure two illustrate the conceptual framework for the implementation of the Malaysia Standard 1500-2019 Halal Food General Requirement.
as a conclusion to ensure effective implementation of newly version of Halal Food Standard Requirement MS1500-2019, we are recommend and suggested to all food manufacturers in Malaysia should practice a total quality management and also a Sharia knowledge regarding, regarding to the food processing to be implemented in their food manufacturing process. Food manufacturers are encouraged to continuously implement the framework as to produce safe and Sharia compliance of the halal food product and consumer. I think that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching.